Alright, number five and number six. So, page 129. Still, so, um, you look at number five. Here's our diagram, ADBC. And we're given that CD is perpendicular to AB, and D is the midpoint of AB. And we want to see if CA is congruent to CB. Okay? Those two segments. So is this the same as this? Um, so we've got to think this through. So um, we're probably going to use a triangle again because CA is part of this triangle on the left and CBD is, CB is part of this triangle on the right, CBD. So we'll try to show, we'll try to get what we have, show triangles are congruent, and then conclude this. Okay? So let's turn our focus to the triangles and try to show they're the same. Um, now D is a midpoint of AB. So what is a midpoint? It's a point that cuts something in half. So AB must be cut in half, so then we must have that is the same as that. So that's good information. We need something like that in our uh, in our proof to show the triangles are congruent. So let's say um, AD is congruent to DB, and that's definition midpoint. Okay. Now, CD is perpendicular to AB, and what does perpendicular mean? It means meets at a right angle. So that and that are the same. Uh, remember, we have our theorem that says in this book that says um, perpendicular lines make congruent adjacent angles. I'll call them one and two again. So um, this angle this angle, they're adjacent, but they're congruent. So um, angle one, congruent to angle two. Let's see which theorem that is when we were talking about perpendiculars. Um, let's flip back in the book somewhere. Um, hmm. Maybe it's here, perpendicular lines. Yes, theorem 2-4. If two lines are perpendicular, then they form congruent adjacent angles. So theorem 2-4. Of course, in some other books, we might just say that um, all perpendicular angles are congruent. Um, and now, we've got to figure out what else to do to show the triangles are congruent, the left and right triangles. Um, do we know anything about another angle? No. Another side? Well, maybe. It's like here's angle one, and here's angle two, and hey, we traced out the same side. Um, and that's in both triangles, so that's what we'll use. So, four um, DC is congruent to itself. Identity or reflexive of congruence. And then, which theorem do we have? Is this side, side, side? No. Is it angle, side, angle? No. Is it side, angle, side? Yes, because we have a side, a side, and the included angle. So, by that theorem, we know triangle ADC. congruent to triangle BDC, and that's um, the side angle side theorem. And then, because whenever you have congruent triangles, all the corresponding parts are the same, we know AC and BC are congruent. with 
our famous CPCTC. Parts are congruent when you have congruent triangles. All right, good. Now that was number five. Okay, number six is going to be a similar shape, similar figure, but sideways. Notice if we get A, D, B, C and flip it, then we have um, number six. So let's go ahead and try that one. After I get this erased, we'll draw a new diagram. Um, so I'm going to not draw a plane X, I'm just going to draw the triangle so it's clear. A, M, B, P. So So that's what we got. Now let's put down the given, um, then we'll think about it. Um, one. M is the midpoint of AB. And plane X is perpendicular to AB. Okay, and of course that's the at symbol, shorthand. So now we know that, um, let's see, well first of all, let's see, what can we deduce about AP and BP? We want to see if we can draw a conclusion out of this. So, we know that, um, the plane is perpendicular to AB and um, presumably it goes through point P as well. Um, if the plane's perpendicular then a line in it is perpendicular to AB so MP is perpendicular to AB. Um, so we can conclude MP perpendicular to AB Because uh, plane X perpendicular to AB means a line and that means MP would be perpendicular to AB. So now let's mark down that information in the diagram, help us think about what's going on. M is a midpoint, so remember, what is a midpoint? A midpoint is a middle point. It's halfway, exactly middle. So it divides AB into two equal parts. Okay, I'll write that down. AM congruent to MB. That's definition midpoint. And then we know since MP is perpendicular to AB, it makes two congruent angles. And that's theorem 2 4, I think it was, that we just looked at, number 5. So I'll call them 1 and 2 again. Angle 1 going to angle 2, and that's um, theorem 2, 4, I think it was. You can check to be sure. Um, now, hey, you notice we got that line, MP, makes up both angles. So, MP congruent to MP. Identity. And now we're going through this one a little quicker. It's just like the previous one, and that's that's why we're still using side angle side and using the same reasoning. Um, and so we notice we got side angle side. So the triangles are congruent. So AMP is congruent to BMP
citing the side theorem, and then we can conclude since the top triangle and the bottom triangle are congruent, AMP is congruent to BMP. Since the triangles are congruent, all the parts are congruent, so we're done. AP is congruent to BP. Ta-da! So in the diagram, um, point A above the ground is the same distance from P as point B is under the ground. Cool. All right. So there are six proofs. Um, hope that helps. You know, if not, maybe go back and look at the videos again. Try these on your own. Let it sink in. Look back at the theorems. Um, you know, it's okay. It's the first time you're doing theorems. You're doing proofs, I mean. Um, it takes time to get used to. You gotta train your mind and brain to work in a new, better way to be explicit about sequences of thought. A lot of times this is the first time people have been introduced to this explicitly, but it's something very important that you're gonna have to do in business, in science, in making nutrition decisions, in making good decisions about form and exercise, um, picking out doctors, all kinds of things. You need to go through chains of reasoning to make sure you're correct, or in judging people. So you don't fly off the handle and call them something that they're not. You need to go through a good solid chain of reasoning so you know who's good and who's not. Um, anyway, there's a six, so we're done with that section.